Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why we didn't wait. Only thing y'all don't know about us. Should we tell him? Hey, are you watching Chase Films all alone? What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Chase Films back at it with another video. Today we got a Q&A video, questions from our fans, fans period. Feel me, we here with... Gabby. Feel me, Gabby, Bella Rose the third, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> jump right into it. The first question is, what are your goals for 2022? You want to answer it first? Alright, so, as some of y'all know, I know I'm acting, so I'm just trying to... You know, make my life better, you know, start working again, get everything back that I had, but even better, and, you know, just get to, get to my money, feel me? Period. No time. Period. <laughs> feel me? All right. For me, my goals for 2022, I want to say is to just improve, feel me? I want to improve. I honestly, for 2022, like, I truthfully want, like, 10K subs. If I hit 10K subs in 2022, I think that's, like, that's, like, a fair goal right there. I feel like that's a sturdy goal. I feel like I could definitely do it. And definitely more health and wealth, feel me, and, and just progress and everything I'm trying to do and progress from all the people around me, feel me, and just to spread more positivity, reach out to more people. A lot of you guys, feel me, you guys really look up to my words of wisdom and listen to me, feel me, and and I, I really, feel me, like, I, I just want to be more positive, feel me, I want to be more positive for everybody, influence everybody in better ways, and that's pretty much that. With that being said, we're going to get on to the next question. From my boy, Exclusive E-Dot, and all of these, you're going to see their names pop up <laughs> on the screen. My boy, E-Dot, you island. Um, he said, you and my mans, with a Z, Gabby, dash E-Dot. Um, you and my man's Gabby, yeah, we, we are doing a video. That's about it. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Gabby's Gabby. <laughs> like, I, I, don't, I don't know how to answer that one. <laughs> Gabby's Gabby. That's it. There ain't really nothing to it. And with that being said, on to the next question. And I'm going to put like a switch thing for all the questions. So you're going to see it. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive E-Dot. Gabby, are you pushing P? <laughs> Why you be asking these questions, you know, but... You, you know what pushing P means, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, Ida, Ida, why you playing with her like that, Facts, Ida? Facts, yo. I'm not even about to, like... That's not even a question. That, yeah, it that's, is, but that's, um... That's inappropriate. Yeah, well, That's inappropriate. Read... Watch your mouth, Ida. All right. Well, that really is, but he said, I want to go on a date. Um, no, thank you. <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> okay, and we got this from Spicy Tip. That's another one, Tiff. I truly appreciate you, feel me? You had commented on my video. You seen that my videos were at the mall and, and we both live in the same state and you were showing love. You like the positivity I bring to the channel, all that. So I appreciate you. I want to, feel me, shout you out. I'm going to drop your IG on there too. Her IG is going to be wherever it is, somewhere on the screen. She has said, do you have any tattoos? Yeah, just that one. And the only reason I got just one tattoo is just because like, I have like an OCD where I feel like if I get a big tattoo and my tattoo does not come out right, like it's going to bother me forever, you know? Yeah. And like there's not, there's no ever actually removing a tattoo, feel me? If you get it lasered off, you're always going to have like, Marks, feel me? Like, yeah. yeah. So yeah, nah, I got, I got one tattoo and I mean, I, I got you? one. You do? I got one right here behind my ear. Oh man, stop playing with it guys. I'll zoom in so y'all can see that you just got one. Um, yeah, I just got one. Y'all are um, horny, yo. Yeah, you can get regular questions, like, for her, bro. Right? Like, Damn. some people just ha didn't really ask questions. AB, um, he's like, casate conmigo, coño. Um. I don't know what that means, but casa I do, amigo. I do. <laughs> yo, put the little bottle on it. For real, right? Yo, casa yo. amigo. Nah, but I know what that means, but... Low key, like I'm gonna be honest, like I'm just really doing me right now, like respectfully. Like, yeah, I don't really. And doing and why and anything. somebody doing them doesn't necessarily mean that you know they're doing no hot shit. You feel me? Doing you is like uh -oh. doing you, working on you, improving you. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like she said. Yeah. And yeah, so there's that. <laughs> and Tiff, we got another question from Tiff. Is do you have a type in regards of like females? Um. When it comes to females, trust, I said trustfully, true, <laughs> what the freak, truthfully, all I look for legit, like, I've always said this, um, 
Like, a girl could literally, like, l l no, I'm not going to say lie, because no, she can't lie. But, like, mm -hmm. a girl could legit, like, have messed with somebody I know, you feel me? Like, have done all types of stuff, you know, and all that. Like, I'm not going to judge her necessarily on her history. As long as a female, like, does not lie, like, period, like, at all to me, like, because lying will just automatically just mess up my trust. Like, my trust is, like, my biggest thing in a relationship. So, as long as she's trustworthy, feel me, which... A lot of females aren't. Like, you what? know, everything is fine. Don't try it, <laughs> like, everything will be fine. But Bro. for me, like, I, I, as far as like race, like, truthfully, because I know that that was like the main part of the question, like, I love me some Latina mommies. You feel me? Period. They are wild toxic. And like, <laughs> I just, like, I, I can't. Like, I just can't. So I don't know. Like, I don't actually judge though. You feel me? Like, as far as race and stuff like that, I'm always like open to stuff. I, I truthfully like I'm goal oriented and a person who just like it, it, it's personality, like straight up. It's personality, it's goals, it's stuff like that. Like that's the main focus because the bigger picture, that is the bigger picture. You feel me? So yeah, that's my answer to that. How about you? What do you look for in a guy? Um, so I don't really have a type. I mean, feel me, I like my Rican niggas, feel me. Oh, yeah, I can't say that, right? No, you could. Okay. So, for me, I like them, but, like, I could always, like, outside the picture or whatever, for me. But honestly, like he said, loyalty is <clears throat> number one thing. Communication is definitely key in a relationship. Like, if there's no communication, that it would just, sometimes it could fall apart, you feel me? And then being honest is another one, but... That's the biggest part. Yeah. Mr. Chase Films, why you lie so much? <laughs> why do I lie so much? Do I lie? All the time? Yeah. No, you yeah. Don't. Just about. Just about. Nah. But why do you? Let, let's be honest. Let, let, let's be honest. Why do I be honest, lie? Why do you lie? Yo, guys, we're not gonna get into it, so we're gonna we're gonna skip the question because she's lying right now. So <laughs> that's literally why. Like. No. Nah, okay. 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 Like. I don't lie, but, like... Avoid the truth. Why do you avoid the truth so much? Why do you work around the truth so much? What <laughs> truth, though? No, like, it depends. Like, see, I don't lie in certain situations, but... Okay. Next question. Anyway. Because yeah. she's lying. <clears throat> um, We got, what's your greatest achievement? For me, honestly, my greatest achievement, I really want to say, is... Oh, excuse me. Like, focusing on myself, getting out of the mix, like, cutting off all the fake people, having goals, feel me? Like, creating the goals, creating, like, the success that I have, my, my, my YouTube, literally, like, a goal list in my room, and I literally have, literally, I didn't put a check mark on it, but I keep it there to look at it. Like, I literally achieved everything that I have put for the year. I hit a thousand subs on YouTube, over a thousand, feel me? And that wasn't even in a year. That was just in like two, three months of actually putting in work, uploading videos. For me, this is going to be the 70, the 70, I don't know how you would say it. Number 72 of for my videos for me on YouTube. So I want to say that because honestly, besides money, the crypto stuff and all that, like a big thing is like everybody knows is YouTube. Like YouTube is my like my biggest main focus at the moment and stuff because I really do want to make a change and I really do want to be able to change the people's lives around me, like That's truthfully, yeah. you feel me? And I could do that with YouTube, whether it's somebody running a business, I could give their business clout, you feel me? Or they want to make a channel and make money off the internet too, I could do that, feel me? Like there's all types of stuff that I can do, you feel me, due to that. So I would say that's my biggest achievement. Honestly, mine, it's crazy because I, I, I relate a lot to him, but like me cutting off all the toxic um people we're gonna put the scissors on the screen yep i had a lot of like toxic habits that i like had mm -hmm. stop that shit um out the mix <laughs> yo this man stay trying to play me <laughs> blooper <laughs> a little bit a little bit a little bit um, she, she's improved mm -hmm. and then um definitely out the mix like like i don't i'm never in drama none of that because i don't do that we're grown you know what what's the point of Facts. you know we're not in high school no if more. it don't make a dollar it don't make sense period literally um 
Yeah, because they just, I've grown from where I was at, I've grown a lot, and I've matured a lot, so I'm proud of myself. Respectfully. Tell me about this. Me personally, um, I, I'm very, like, I don't like to say, like, I, damn, I don't know how to explain this. I don't want to, like, I don't want to have, like, a bucket list because I'm, I don't want to, you know, bucket lists are what you want to do before, before you, know? you die. Yeah, yeah. so I don't want to, like, I don't have a bucket list for that exact reason. God forbid, God forbid. I don't like that, you know, that stuff. But I'm going to tell you things I do want to do, period is literally travel the world. Like, I really want to travel. I literally have always thought about, like, Amazons and shit like that, like, mountains and movies when you That's see so all of the trees. Yeah. Like, bro, I want to see that in real life, feel me? So that's honestly, like, one of the main things. That's pretty much, and then obviously, like, moving to Cali at some point and stuff, you know, and, and a mansion and being able to just put my friends into better positions, feel me? Like, that's really it as far as, like, if you want to call it a bucket list, but mm -hmm. not a bucket list, feel me? How about you? So for me, definitely, I want to, I haven't made one, but I want to because there's so much stuff that I haven't done yet that I want to do, you know, um, I never really thought of it in a bad way, like, you know, before I die, but like, I, like, I definitely want to do like a lot of stuff, you know, for me, like, um, travel the world, like definitely, like there's so many places, I'm beautiful ass places I want to go to. Paris, I or, think, like, is another one. Is Paris where the Eiffel Tower is, right? Or yeah. is that yeah, yeah. like that? That's definitely like I feel mm -hmm. like because I I've heard and I don't know if it's true, but I did ask her like that. There's a restaurant like that. that yeah, that's like there a restaurant. is. Yeah. Like, bro, um, I would love to and go. And like over there, I think that's where it's like the underground thing. Mm -hmm. But I don't ever go there because like that's like I don't know. It's there's bad. some. Yeah, I heard oh, some damn. crazy stuff about it. Yeah, but. so nah, so nah, <laughs> nah with that then. But definitely over there, definitely like foreign stuff, like just foreign, like period, feel me? Like I, I just like traveling and I feel like that's everybody's bucket list, but I feel like it's different for people. I truly feel like for mine, it's really like... Like I, peace. Or like, yeah, like I want to like, like just places where it's just like, bro, it's a vibe. Like you don't hear nothing but animals, like wild animals type of stuff. Not really like, you know, the bougie stuff, like, you know, like... Just y'all know what I mean, bro. Like, and y'all be seeing like those famous people like petting and lying and shit. Oh my god, I want to do that. Doing the what? Like petting lions. Oh like, yeah, I yeah, love yeah. lions. Like mm -hmm. that's my second like favorite oh, yeah, animal. So wildin'. I want to do that. I want to like actually touch a lion. Oh mm -hmm. my god. Yeah, she's wild. She's wild. But <laughs> I don't know about all that. But nah, definitely like. Feel me, Amazon, like Africa, like the safaris, like stuff like that. Definitely like the, the jungle and Amazon is different. So feel me, like all that stuff. I I really, really, like I feel like one of my favorite animals, I truly want to see a puma and Ooh, a black panther Yeah, a person. black panther, mm -hmm. but those shits are so beautiful. Like, and like, it's getting to the point where they're becoming rare though. So mm -hmm. feel me, like, and, and let alone if you're on like... A, a a trip type of thing with people if you were doing that like it's so rare that you even get to see them so like I, that is something i really do want to see i really do want to see that for sure mm -hmm. um on to the next question though so somebody asked me um if i'm single i am single not gonna lie ready to mingle like a prangle whatever <laughs> whatever Period. you want to say feel me but listen for good people, though. Like, for good people. You feel me? She needs a good dude. Like, she for needs real. a good dude. So, anybody on here that's a good dude, and I'm not talking about my boys that are watching this that want to act like you're, you're good people, because you're my boys. <laughs> like, I fuck with y'all, but, feel me? Don't do that, bro. Don't do that. Not for real, because, like, honestly, do like... Like, you know, I've been single for a while, whatever, and I am still single, but if the right person walks in my life, and you really want to treat me right, like... I'm done with the playing games, toxicness, like, I don't want none of that. So if you a real nigga. Period. Real nigga. Here. Real nigga for her. You feel me? And straight up, all I, all I could vouch is that for real, for real, like, since high school, and I mean, it, it, that is toxic, the not having friends part, but back in high school, like, I'd understand why a couple, you feel me, wouldn't be able mm -hmm. to have friends. But she was mad loyal. Like, you ain't heard of her since high school, and she was with the same dude since high school. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So For three years, but yeah. he just, nah. He yeah, was. Whatever happened with that happening. He remember? was, yeah. But, um, <laughs> mm -hmm. we got, oh, look at this. This one is from beautiful underscore Bella01. <gasps> we I got, mean? we got what's. You, what's you biggest goal in life? <laughs> I meant to say yours. But what's your biggest goal in life? Honestly, 
Y'all literally already know my biggest goal in life. Literally, I, I legitimately want everybody who's loyal to me, close to me, whether it's even fans, supporters, friends, whatever it is, family, like girlfriend, wife, whatever, feel me? To, to, to honestly be eaten. Like, I really want to get, like, filthy rich with all my friends, bro, and live, like, lavish, bro. Like, live lavish. Like, that is my biggest goal is to just live lavish. And I want to change other people's lives and not just like, I'm not talking like, just be stingy with it. You know, like I want people around me who have the same type of vision, who would want to help people also like feel me like in need and that type of stuff too, because I, I would, bro, I would definitely, I already do it now. Like I would literally, if, if I could come to my town and just other people's towns, every state I'm in, bro, there's people who are multimillionaires, billionaires, bro. If I see homeless people, all that, bro, I would literally, bro, like hand out like so much food, bro. Mm -hmm. I would like, as far as my hometown, I could send somebody in my hometown I trust, like money be like, yo, go feed these people literally every month. Like, you know, even if you want to do it every day, I would try to pay somebody every day to go out there and make sure they eat. You feel me? Like, I just want, I want people around me who want to get rich to the point where we don't got nothing else to do with our money you feel me so like we can help Nothing people that, yeah. less fortunate you feel me yeah like for real like that's that's really the biggest goal and honestly i don't know why a lot of rich people like don't think of stuff like that like mm -hmm. you're rich like bro they just be buying like money shit. That... they just buy shit that like they don't need they mm -hmm. just want it or they just buy it and they don't even use it mm -hmm. or like like say they got like 10 cars they don't even use all mm -hmm. 10 cars literally like, they bro, don't be registered like, really, all of them what are you, insurance. yeah what are you really buying them mm -hmm. for just because you got the money literally. like and you use that money wisely give it to the homeless or you know do some good stuff. bro like I, I be saying that too. These dudes are buying million dollar cars that I understand because some people are car guys, but yo, you're buying literally a, like a Bugatti that costs a million dollars. And then you have the people who buy Bugattis that are a hundred mil, like chromed out gold Bugattis, all that, bro. You're buying cars that literally they're show cars. So you're literally not going to drive it. Whether you were driving it or not though, like there's legit people hungry. Feel me? The only car I'm going to have literally is just my Trackhawk Range Rover and a BMW i8, honestly, like Lambos and stuff like that. Ooh, excuse me, it's played out. And honestly, I would probably have a Ferrari. That's it. That's four cars though. And that's not even me being stingy. That's me being like to, to my boys who I am going to put on, but say, you know, they're just doing something with a successful business, but he just got a Benz, but he want to take the Ferrari out. Feel me? I'm going to yeah. let him take the Ferrari out. You feel yeah. me? Like type of shit like that. That's the only thing, but I'm not about to have mad cars, bro. I've always said that though. The i8, Feel me? Just the Range Rover. And Trackhawk became just the Trackhawk. When I started seeing the Trackhawks, that just became like something that like I ended up wanting. You feel me? Like I, I didn't care about Trackhawks before. Feel me? But that's pretty much it. And then the Ferrari, that's it. But yeah, the, the goal is really the bigger picture. You feel me? That's going to go over a lot of people's heads. Mm -hmm. But the goal is the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And all right, we got another one. What's Bella's biggest goal in life? What's my biggest goal in mm -hmm. life? Um, so honestly, like, I'm not really, like, a YouTuber and stuff like that, but honestly, like, it's not even to, like, be famous or anything, you know, that's a good thing, feel me? But me is to have a lot of money, you know, um, have my own house, a nice big house, you know, Respectfully. and, um, you know, I don't know, like, just build a cute little family, feel me? <laughs> um, have a great job, a nice ass car. Um, yeah, just live a good ass life that I didn't, like, really have when I was younger. Period. Type shit, you know? I respect it. Period. Yeah. Period, period, period. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. This question is for the both of us. And my boy, Chevy, um, he said, how you lose your V-card? <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Mine is crazy. Yeah. Well, not, not really crazy. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go first so you can think about how you want to <laughs> answer yours. I'm not going to lie, guys. Um, I truly... Look, damn, it's going to make me sound bad. I truly don't remember exactly who I, like, I lost my virginity to. But if it is the person who like I'm pretty sure it was and stuff, like I really didn't want to talk about it because I was going to do a story time video on it. So I'm not really gonna say too much because she actually passed away. So rest in peace to her right, and stuff like. And yeah, she was a good girl though and stuff like that. You know about that, right? About the, mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure, like, yeah. So we're not really gonna get into that, but that that's my 
story. And that was somewhere, too, for all of y'all that's over here hooking up Matt Young. Y'all are wilding because I lost my virginity when I was in, like, I want to say, like, sophomore or junior too, year. Yeah. You feel me? Like, yeah. you guys be wilding now. Yo, y'all are wilding. Yo, like 13, 14, mm -hmm. 12 yeah. years old. Like, what? Like, y'all don't even really bugging. know everything. Like, what y'all like, are doing. You yo. guys are literally just sticking penis into vagina. <laughs> Like, literally, like, at that point, y'all really, like, y'all are tweaking, for real. Y'all really need to chill out. You feel me? Respectfully. And it's crazy, because the people I know that be like that, though, those be the people with no kids, though. But the niggas that got kids and stuff like that was the ones that waited, respectfully. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, why? But not not really why. Excuse me. Sorry. That's fucked up. But, feel me? Anyways, yeah. you're turn. So, honestly, <laughs> honestly, me, like, I kind of, like... I don't know, like, some people don't care to lose it at that age, but, like, I was 16, 16? I was 16 bad. when I lost it, but, um, it was, like, <laughs> it was, like, um, like, during exams, and I didn't, but I didn't have exams, and it was my boyfriend at the time, though, like, we were together for a long time, and <laughs> Oh, I feel like I remember this shit! <laughs> oh, my gosh! Go ahead, go ahead. So, it was during, like, <laughs> exams. And, like, me and him were together for a long time, so, like, you know, feel me? Like, we didn't do anything, so, like, that was my first time, and I was scared as fuck. <laughs> like, I wasn't scared, but I was bad nervous. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Yo. So, we had his boy, like, pick us up, and we went to his house. <laughs> and, like, to my his mom boy's house? No, to his house. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, like, he was like, oh, my mom's not home, this and that. And I was like, okay. So, like, we went to his house, and that's how, like, it happened. And then I was almost late for the bus, nigga, like, when they were coming. Mm -hmm. Bro, I was almost, I was, bro, the bus, is, like, the bus door was closed, and I was like, fuck, like, I had to run out the yard. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Nah, but I don't know. He could. I don't know. I don't even know why we didn't wait. You know what I feel but. like. You know what I feel like is a better question for that too. You you use protection the first time you did it. Oh yeah. Nah, be real. Did you? No, we did. Yeah. For real? Yeah. I'm no, not. I'm not. That was lie. my first time, so I was like mad scared. I truthfully, well, yeah. As a female, I feel like you. Yeah, definitely. Like a female is gonna be more scared. I, was, I feel like I don't remember if I did or not the first time, or if I did, but like. It was just honestly because it went on for hours, like for the first time. Like I'm not even lying. Like I ain't trying to act like I'm Superman now because you know if I'm a, I'm a, when I'm in it, I'm in it. And I'm like, for me, it was, uh, <laughs> like I'm not gonna say niggas is Superman, but not nah, real shit with my virginity because I didn't know what I was doing and I was pretty much just like inside and just like <clears throat> like inside, like not not sh like popping it. Feel me? <laughs> so like. So I, I was really bunning it for hours, you know? And then after I was nothing, like, I kept going, kept going, kept going. And, like, Squirt was involved, all that. Like, it was crazy. I'm not going to lie. Like, <laughs> it was crazy. But it was just different. For your first time having sex, you'd expect, you know, like, it would have been different. But, I mean, that experience was different. So my, like, like, um, <clears throat> I don't know. I was just mad nervous that whole day. And, like, <laughs> we both didn't have exams. It was for our last period exam or whatever. And we both didn't have exams that day. So, like. For me it was like the perfect time and that was i think that was before nah i think he had already met my mom and shit N before said that, a, a good luck exam fuck <laughs> <laughs> a good yeah. luck a good luck fuck <laughs> yo, yo that's crazy but honestly like i don't know that's yeah, crazy that's, that's that oh, so that's, that's your that. favorite show so my favorite show is criminal minds that bro if you don't watch criminal minds you missing out and you better go watch it right now there's like 16 seasons though i think or something like that but it's it's worth it i feel like girls who like watching criminal minds are like psychotic a little bit not just nobody but i feel like if girls like watching criminal minds they really be plotting. They be plotting on shit. Cause Maybe a little bit. That's the, where I get my FBI skills from. It's like, yo, nah. <laughs> yo. <laughs> she's kidding. dead ass, though. <laughs> nah, guys, that shit is scary. I'm not going to lie. I know a lot of people watch Criminal Minds that are real wild. But my favorite show, and I just started it, and I'm dead ass almost finished with it, is Orange is the New Black. Like, that shit is wild. You mm -hmm. watch it or not? No. You gotta watch that. Like, I know. I I started watching, like, one episode a long, long time ago, but I never even finished it. Yeah, that shit is wild. Like, I'm legit almost on season seven right now. That show is fire. No cap. So, yeah. <clears throat> and that was another question from Tiff Tiff. Okay, Tiff Tiff, Tiff with the great questions. Right? No cap. And 
this one's for the both of us also um what we be doing and tiff actually said any my bangs i know you meant mukbangs <laughs> but what we be doing any mukbangs we actually are and we were already talking about it i believe before you had even asked the question we were actually talking about that we are but we're about to do it in a cool way that i feel like i know people have probably done it but not with as much people and not with as much food from different places we're actually gonna all get food from different places for me and we're all just gonna tear that ish up you know I mean? like so yeah we are going to be doing a mock main video at some point for me whenever so there's that you did you feel me mm -hmm. this is from e dot boy t dot or whatever oh my gosh <laughs> um who's your favorite out of t dot and e dot you gotta answer um m dot i mean M. wait i'm a little dyslexic <laughs> 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 M dot <laughs> Yo, I oh yeah, she's funny. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. My bad. She's dyslexic, guys. It's a, <laughs> I, we apologize for that. Also the next question no. though. Um we got how did y'all meet? Um so look, so one day I'm scrolling down the hall, you feel me, walking down the hall in school, whatever, and junk, just minding my business, you feel me? <laughs> nah, truthfully, I don't know. I just know we met in high school. Yeah. Like, we just met in high school. Mm -hmm. We had a hella mutual friends, and she's always just been, like, a nice, like, genuine person. <clears throat> and truthfully, and that's how you know, though, she's nice and genuine, because I was, like, the chopped, fat weirdo like playing games when i go home ass dude and like she was a cool ass friend mm -hmm. like she was a good friend no cap but that was when she turned well i can't even say fake but at the time i thought it was fake because she just cut me off but it was because the relationship so yeah. she like got low on everybody and literally she, anybody that knows me yeah. knows that i went m.i.a for mm -hmm. like literally those three years yeah, i went m.i.a like, like nobody really knew about my like life bad, like bro like <laughs> like bad so there's that yeah but on to the next question okay okay all right how old are y'all um me i'm 20 about to be 21 in august my jit right here i'm 22 Earth. feel me about to be 23 october okay. 7th 1999 boy was when i was born just in case anybody <laughs> asking you feel me all right on to the next question we got um if you both could live wherever like in the whole world where would it be Oh, that's a hard ass mm -hmm. question because there's so many places I want to go. And I'm gonna, so I'm gonna let her think about it because I'm gonna tell y'all straight up, like I already said, Cali, but yo, like seriously, like if I could, I, I wouldn't want to say like, like tech because you could go crazy, you know, like living on an island by yourself or something like that and stuff. Even if you have your friends, loved ones, all like you still need like, like people, you feel me? Like yeah. whatever it's called and stuff. So, I would definitely, it would be somewhere mad luxurious with, right next to the ocean, feel me? But like a, a mm. huge mansion in Cali, <laughs> Hampton, something, somewhere. And, um, but I would definitely have one of those homes that dead ass also, like you're legit in the middle of the ocean, like yes. on an island home. Like I would definitely do something like that. Mm. And feel me like that, that would be, oh, that would be beautiful. Feel me? I would love that. And, and I'm going to get that. Feel me? Like I am going to get that for a fact. I'm going to get that. Like. I am gonna do that. Damn, that's hard though. I still can't think about it. Probably like, I don't know. Cause there's so much like, places. Me, like I have a lot of family in PR, mm -hmm. so probably over there. And there's a lot of nice. A lot. Of, there's a lot, a lot of, of beautiful places over there, and I do like I have a lot of lot of like family over there. Damn. So, so Gab, Gab, guys, Gabby's gonna leave y'all, guys. Nah. She, gonna, she gonna go to PR, guys. She gonna leave y'all. Nah. 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 nah that's we're, right. That's what I, I know Jotty would too. Jotty mm -hmm. loves Jotty love PR too. Mm -hmm. A lot of I feel like anybody who who's from PR and has been to PR says the same thing. And me personally, if I just if I like, you know, learn more Spanish and like actually like, you know, like I've been there to visit it myself to experience it, I already know you could go out there with bank and I really feel like, be I feel like, like like if you were to like be over there for a while, you mm -hmm. would actually catch on to the Spanish quick. Right. Because like like, if you're asking for something or something like that, or they, like, you know, ask you what you want or something, like, you'll catch on to it. Like, you'll be like, okay, they're asking about yeah, yeah. that, that, you know, like. Facts, facts. I feel like it would be cool, because that's definitely somewhere, like, you could go out there with, what, if, if you had 100,000 uh, 100, out here, you're, like, already, like, filthy rich out there. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So, like, you could build up your house, like, however you want it, like a castle. So, I'd understand that, too. And if Dominican Republic wasn't bad, I've definitely heard that's nice, too. Yeah. Only reason why I say, though, like, just not places like that, because, like, yeah, you'll be lavish, but I feel like it's just... 
like and no offense to anybody you know watching but i just feel like like it's very like poor you know like yeah. it's very poor out there but it is beautiful so i understand if you're looking for it like that but like it's very poor and like i wouldn't want people you know like 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 that and then even out there if you were to do like what I want to do, you know, and try to help people out, though, people out there are still fuck you over type shit. You try to help people out and they're like, now nah, you on you on the list, feel me, to yeah. try to get robbed and shit like it's that. It's kind of so. scary, like places like PR and DR, because mm-hmm. you got to watch, it's certain places, but you got to watch out what you do, what you have, mm-hmm. based, like, you know, because it's very, places, like I said, like PR and DR, they're like that over there. Yeah, yeah. But, it, like, it's worse than, like, over here. Like, you would think, like, oh, it's not like, no. Nah. Mm-hmm. Nah, I've definitely heard about it. Rob you, like, yeah. Crazy stuff. And crazy they'll, like, stuff. beat you up, like, mm-hmm. the fuck up, like, for your shit, so. And it's crazy, though, too, because even, even girls, though, even girls out there, like, the women, like, gotta mm-hmm. be very careful, too, yes. and stuff like that. You cheat on a guy out there. Mm-hmm. You dead. Like, Literally, you dead. So it's like, crazy. Yeah, <laughs> playing your funeral. Yeah. So you gotta you you, you gotta be careful <laughs> out there. God forbid. God forbid to the ladies, man. Yeah. Don't um, don't do your man's dirty out there. No cap. But on to the next question. So Kevin <laughs> Suarez asked, "What would be the oldest that you would date?" Um, the oldest. So I'm 20. I'd be 21. I'll probably the date. The oldest I'll probably date is like 29. I feel <laughs> I feel like I can't answer this one because true I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> it's gonna sound bad. It's gonna sound bad. Listen, listen, listen. I'm not gonna say who's grandma on this because I ain't gonna say it. Yeah. But somebody know they grandma is very beautiful. You feel me? <laughs> and so I don't really got no age, like, you know, like, <laughs> no age restrictions. So, uh, this cause... man is wild. <laughs> I ain't gonna say who's granny, but somebody no. granny, she know. <laughs> the next question, we got, um, okay, oh, th- this is another good one. This is actually from one of my biggest supporters. I love you so much, Lenny. You already know that. I let you know that, this all the time. Um, Even though I already know there's nothing between y'all, is there something we don't know about you and Gabby? The only thing y'all don't know about us, should should we tell them? Should we tell them? Like, oh my gosh, that there's nothing between us. We're friends. Facts, like, like bro, like I like, don't know why, like so many people ask us that, like bro, like, like we're literally like yo, I understand, like for real, for real, like in as respectful, like as somebody could say it, you feel me, like. Whether somebody's pretty, you know, like ugly or whatever it is, or even if like she, I was her type, she was my type, like there's just, there's certain situations like, you know, if she has a boyfriend, I got a girlfriend, whatever and stuff like that, like you've respected, but even if it wasn't to that, like there is some people who you click with so well, or like, you know, like you don't want to like risk messing that up, you know? And it, yeah, go ahead. No, nah, no, nah, that was pretty much like oh. it. I was and like, it's like. It's crazy because, like, I know a lot of people that are, like, every, like, they think that there shouldn't be girl and guy friendships because they think it's more than that. Like, it's not Mm -hmm. even true because, like, literally you, like, a girl and a guy can click like that and not have anything, not, like, have sex, nothing, Mm -hmm. kiss, nothing. Like, you can just, like, vibe like that as friends, you feel me? Like, I hate when people be like, oh, there's no such thing as girl and guy friends because da 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 Mm -hmm. Like, that's that's not... That's not true. Maybe that's what y'all do with they, your exactly, guy or Exactly. Maybe what I, maybe they're saying that because that's what they do when they get a girl or a guy friend. Mm-hmm. But that's not what I do when I get a girl or a guy friend. If Literally. I if I want you as my friend, that's what I want you as Literally. my friend. If, and, yeah, no. And yeah, not to interrupt her, but I feel like I feel like too, like Gabby straight up and we not gonna name the person, but even the person who like did, you know, try that and stuff and all that, like she lets them know like right away, like bro, like her, I guess her vibe's different. You feel me for certain people that like just can't handle that. You feel me? Like, and, and so like, you know, she had to like correct like come correct about it. Like Mm -hmm. she truly is. She like in, in Jasmine, a lot of y'all know Jasmine too. Like somebody like that, like it's not like it's something that like just like it's it's a it's a it's a click and i still understand why saying that somebody would be like oh well then how would y'all know you know if y'all would never fuck with each other but bro like 
just because you click with somebody don't mean that bro people yeah. have good ass friends you feel me mm -hmm. like and don't want to mess that up period exactly. and gabby literally yo for real gabby's like the only female out here besides jotty and jotty's really be busy that would help me with youtube videos you know mm -hmm. and somebody on top of that that like respectfully i don't care that she's doing shit because you're single you feel me like yeah. so you could do the videos you want yeah like and stuff like that the e-dates and all that like it's just like bro you feel me like I don't know, cause I don't know. At first, it was just like you know, it was the video, and then it was like, uh, okay, when we going to the next video? You feel me, like, and we created more friendships with other people, like yeah. female friends for her that are better than the people she was around and stuff like that. Yeah. And you know, guys for me who are well, that's not a crazy pause, <laughs> but like you seen like all of these people the two mil on, yeah. on tiktok and shit like that like we're literally networking with people now like that have two mil on tiktok two hundred thousand on tiktok or other youtubers and shit like that like yeah. stuff is like playing out you feel me that would never happen if i wouldn't be networking with a female mm -hmm. bro legit mm -hmm. you feel me like yeah. and stuff like that and yeah there, there's there's more that could be said behind that you feel me that I can understand why people would think the way they would think about stuff, but truthfully, we are just friends. You Literally, feel me? Literally, yeah. Like, we're legit just friends. Bro, if it was anything more than that, you know, no, because I ain't going to make her sound bad, but bro, I wouldn't be trying to, like, find Gabby a good dude. You feel that, me? Like, I would nah, be like, yo, I'm true. a good dude. Like, fuck with me. You nah, feel me? Nah, but like, that's true. Like, he, that that's what, like, if we, if I, we were fucking with each other, like, why would he be like, oh, yeah, for my boys out there, like, you Yeah, know and like, shit like that. Like, I'm not gonna that. do that. That's like, mm -hmm. what the fuck? I, 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 what the freak? I did, 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 did. <laughs> feel me? But, like, I wouldn't do that, bro. Real shit. Like, it's not like that. But, Lenny, that was a good question, and I actually appreciate you asking that, because that, that been needed to get mm -hmm, cleared up. Mm -hmm. But next question all right when are we going on vacation stink <laughs> all i'm gonna say is asking to take somebody out to go eat anywhere they want and her paying for her own four for four, four a vacation for four. does not sound like it's in nobody's motherfucking best interest <laughs> i'm gonna leave that right there anyways next question what are your red flags for me and gabby my red flags is anything my my red flag off rip <clears throat> is just toxic like toxic people like literally just toxic you could take that for whatever however you want to take it toxic is toxic mm -hmm. that's my red flag so my red flag shit i got a lot but i know when someone is lying even when i don't even know you like that but i know when someone's lying so if if I'm trying to like, or I'm just talking to you, right? Uh, a and good you're liar just... knows a good liar. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Anyways, um, but yeah, like if we're just talking to him, whatever, and I know you're lying, I'm just be like, motherfucker, I know you're lying, but it's all right. Like, you feel know? me, like it's whatever. So type shit. feel me, mm -hmm. that's a red flag right there. Like I, I automatically know, even if I don't know you like that, and I just met you and we're just talking, and I know you're a liar. That's a red flag right there, like bro. I can't, yeah. I can't vibe with you because I know you're lying. Like, nah. I'm going to try to have the flag going across the screen. <laughs> We're going to try to have the red flag going. All right. Next question is, what, whew, what's your toxic traits? Sheesh. Mm. I'll answer mine first, straight up. I ain't going to lie. <clears throat> and I don't care what nobody says about it, how nobody feels. Because trust issues come from other people. You do not have trust issues because yourself. Unless you have, you were born with a mental illness, like all jokes aside and stuff, where you are literally like, you know, like people who like, it could be like schizophrenic, God forbid, and mm -hmm. stuff like that, you know? Like mm -hmm. those are, are like, unless it is a thing like that or like paranoia or something like that and stuff, any other type of trust issue, bro, comes from somebody else. Definitely. You feel me? 100%, so yeah. you can never, like, I feel like that's been my biggest problem in my relationships, except I can't do nothing about that. Like, I straight up can't do nothing <clears throat> about that. One little lie, like, that's like, that's like, not to bring it up, but something traumatizing ha happening to you as a kid or something like that, you know, or something bad or something. And one little thing just, like, hits, like, triggers it. You feel me? Like, it triggers it automatically yeah. type shit. So I feel like, that's my my most toxic trait except it's not something that is my fault straight up like no matter what somebody says Dude, what's yours me i kind of got a lot i'm not gonna lie one of them is trust issues and like you said it comes from other people lying is like number one or mm -hmm. like 
just even doing shit behind somebody that or like you know like shit like that like I I got trust issues I'm not gonna lie like so um that and then um I, I don't know like <laughs> <laughs> like when somebody gets me tight like Oh yeah, you get violent. Yeah, I get violent. <laughs> yeah, she's she's violent. <laughs> I forgot about and that. And people say that's anger issues, but I don't know. Yeah, I Maybe don't know. I, do have, I've, I've I feel like I do it. have anger issues because I get mad fast. Well, from and that, or sometimes when I get mad, like I get violent, like he says. Well, I don't know. <laughs> the shit that you explain to me <laughs> is scary. <laughs> I've never seen it, but the shit that she be explaining that she'll do to a nigga, like I said. If y'all not going to treat her right, don't slide in her inbox because... <laughs> I sure, matter of fact, I shared a full thing that on Facebook earlier. Yeah, don't, don't, don't try it because I heard what's going to happen to the next one. That's all I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> on to the next question. We got, um, ho, oh, this one, damn, this one is about to get me tight and this one's about to get Jotty tight. Wait. <laughs> what sign... Is the most toxic in your opinion? <laughs> Mine, I'm gonna say it right now. You know what? You say yours first. The most toxic, bro. Sagittarius or Libra? And I knew she was gonna say that, but I thought she was just gonna say Libra. But it it happens to be because her ex was a Libra. Yes. I got nothing to do with that. Yep. But I guess she ran through, you know, not ran through. That sounded bad. But she went, you know, she she messed with two Libras Libra. and they were trash for her. Both of them. So feel Ain't me. Shit. That fucked it up for her. But I always showed her, you know, like you can't judge people off off of that. Mine is actually a thing I because... I forgot you're a Libra. <laughs> yeah, feel me? But I've dealt with three Geminis, and y'all Geminis are so, like, you guys... You well, the third Gemini is very loving, caring, and all that. But regardless, behind every Gemini is something called what is it in Spanish? Diablo, the devil, what? like Wait, evil, what? like oh, yeah. like bro, like bro, Diablo. like evil, bro, like bad, like bad, bro, like y'all are crazy, especially them Latin Geminis. I don't know them Latino Geminis is just bro Gemini. I'm gonna say Gemini's because I haven't experienced nothing, and I realize like it scares me though because I realize people from high school that like I've talked to or people I've been attracted to even just people on TV celebrities finding it out that they are Gemini's I don't know what my attraction is to Gemini's like and yeah so it's not no Gemini's I feel like are just bad like Gemini's are bad period point blank so we gonna leave that at that like they're just they're bad I love I love me a Gemini but they be tweaking bro and um for the final question, and I feel like this is a good one for the final question. What do you want to accomplish doing YouTube? Like I said, I don't know if I basically already answered um that question in a way, but pretty much I want to get mad famous with it. I really want to be more of a public figure and um, a motivational speaker with it and stuff and be able to really, really make a change, especially from where I'm from, but let alone everywhere else too. I really want to change everybody's lives around me for the better, like I've said, including my own and stuff, all for the better. Um, it's not just about the money situation. It, it, it's, it's, it can lead to other things, business things. It could just, there's so much that comes with YouTube and a social media platform. Sorry. Yeah, it's all right. And period, point blank, you feel me? So that's what I really want to accomplish with YouTube and just like literally helping you guys, the people who watch me and the new people who come and watch me to actually listen to what I say. Or even if y'all don't, for y'all to realize that one day, like, damn, yo, like, you know, and all that, like, I should have listened just like how everybody is, you know, with, with their parents and with teachers yeah. and stuff like that when they go through stuff like I really be having good stuff, you know, Bro, just like we was talking to these kids on mm -hmm. um, Instagram live yep. the other day, bro. They, they wasn't wild. listening they for wild. nothing. They wild and they don't take it serious. Mm -hmm. Like we're telling them we've been through shit like that. Mm -hmm. Or like we know because we're older now. We've been through shit like that in high school or whatever. We try giving them advice, but they just wasn't listening. They but it's okay it. because like people say, you will learn on your own. Mm -hmm. Lesson you will learn certain lessons on your own. You and that's something everybody to this day she still be doing stuff she yeah. gonna have to learn on her own yeah i still be doing stuff you know it's just something but all you could do you could always there's always ways to still get through to people like i know those kids at the end of the day even if they're still doing something they're gonna move a different way about what they're doing you know and how they're doing it and even if they don't i don't care if it's 100 people in the room and i could only get one of them to listen but i still help somebody else yeah. who could now help get those other 100 people on the right mm -hmm. track you feel me with that being said, though, that's the end of the Q&A video. It's your boy, feel me, Chase Films. And Gabby. You feel me? 
we gonna see y'all in the next video. I don't know when we gonna have her back here, but feel me. Depending on the likes, y'all need to make sure to tell them hit that like button. Hit the like, feel subscribe, me? comment, everything. Share this video to everybody you know. Feel me? Feel me? Do that. If y'all want to see her again, for real, for real, y'all need to get this video to like 100 likes if y'all want to see her in person mm -hmm. again. Period. Mm -hmm. Point blank. I don't give a fuck. Y'all need to do it. Feel me? We gonna see y'all in the next video, though. Peace. Ain't no love in my city, they all fake. I get money, the reason they all hate. Remember this, I was stressing, I'm ballin'. 30 bits in my pocket, like harder.